Hello friends, my name is Colin. Hope everybody's having an outstanding day today. Another sunset ride, I gotta love it. Alright, so for those of you that uh, watched my last video about the street glide versus the road glide to see if I was switching teams, and uh, it was just a thought. I still love my Batwing peeps, alright, so calm down. I'm still keeping uh, old Alexa here for at least the time being. It was just some thoughts, that's all. So today, accessories. I was talking to my neighbor, uh, was it last week, and he just, uh, last year he bought a souped up Ford truck. I mean, when I say souped up, this thing's got everything, man. I mean, it's loaded. And uh, when we were talking, I was actually putting some accessories on my bike. And uh, the more we talked, I, you know, I asked him a certain question. I'm like, how much have you put on your truck since you purchased this thing? And he started thinking about it. He's like, actually, I haven't put on one thing. And then I'm looking at him. I'm like, you know how much I put on this bike? And it's like, I keep adding more stuff. I keep adding more and more accessories. Why do we do this? Why do we keep pouring all this money extra into our bikes? I mean, I know there's people out there. I know there's not a ton, but there are people out there that buy a bike bone stock and they love it. They absolutely love it. But more and more people, everybody is buying bikes or they have bikes now and they're customizing it. They're making it their own. I get it. We have an emotional attachment to our bikes. We want to make them our own. We love them. You know, and, and so we keep adding more and more money to this thing. I mean, I bought this thing in uh, 2007, well, it's 2017. I think it was late 2016 or early 17. And I believe I paid, I think sticker on it was either 23.5 or 24. And that was just bone stock. And then I, I as we were talking, I started thinking about all the things I've added and how much money that I keep freaking dropping on these bikes. And why do I do it so much? Yes, there's some obvious ones. There's some obvious ones for comfort. There's some obvious ones that's just going to make it look better. Something that's going to improve my ride. I shouldn't have to add all this money, but that's a different subject altogether. But like, and, and all the things I have on my bike, you know, I, I start thinking about it. I have probably half accessories, OEM or Harley, and then half are aftermarket that I bought from other companies. You know, I start in the back here. So like the Reinhardt slip-ons. You're looking at probably 500 bucks. The tour pack, and that's probably the tour pack in the mounting luggage and or the mounting racks and then the luggage rack. I think that was like 1,200. And again, all these are ballpark figures. I know I got some deals on some of them. Um, and then I start, you know, I look down, I, I'm on this seat. I'm on a Mustang touring seat. Uh, I think that's 500, 600 bucks. Shocks. I put suspension on last year, the Revo A's. Well, I think they were 1,000. I started looking on the front of my bike. I, when the first got this thing, changed out the shield. Remember that little uh, pissant shield they have with these things, the stock ones? I think they were like four or five inches. So I ended up getting a thing called Freedom Shields. That was 100 bucks. Mirrors. Look at these mirrors right here. I just put those on recently when I did the bars. The bars, I think, were around 300. These mirrors were 100. And then I look down and I see like highway pegs. I put highway pegs on. And then there's this little thing that I did called a stage three. I didn't really think at the time I needed it, but I ended up going with it because I test rode something with stage three and I wondered, wow, this is amazing difference in power. And I love the stage three, 2,500 bucks. And none of this includes labor. Now, some of this stuff I can put on myself, but some of it I didn't. So you add up all this stuff just in prices. And I know I'm missing a couple things on here. Obviously I have a, a lot of lights on here, different like little accessories. And I'm not saying this number to, you know, just to say, oh my God, look how much I've spent. It's more of, why do I keep adding this? Why do I keep putting more money into it when I really don't need to? It's almost a third of the price of that original bike. You know, you know, you add everything up, you're looking at anywhere from seven to $8,000 over the years that I've put into this bike. And then I take my other bike and I've done similar things with that. I keep adding more and more accessories and I don't know why. So I'm like, I need to slow down a little bit. Like, I know the key ones, guys. The key ones that everyone bitches about that, you know, Harley needs to make better suspension. Absolutely, I agree with that 100%. Stock seats. You know, so I did the suspension. Stock seats. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I fall into that group where I just did not dig the stock seat on the Street Glide Special. And it took me a couple times to get through the right seat. Now, I spent money on those original seats, but I ended up selling them, so I got my money back. But still, all this trouble just to get at bars. I mean, how many people that you know out there right have changed their bars? I think a majority of people that I know have actually either thought about it or they've uh, dropped the hammer on it and purchased new bars. 
it's amazing the amount of money we throw on this just to customize it, just to make it our own bike. And I don't know if I, now I know there's car enthusiasts out there. I know there's truck enthusiasts out there. I'm not one of them. I'm a motorcycle guy, all right? I have a 20-year-old truck. I don't put shit into that thing. I, I run the hell out of that thing until, until it dies. But I, I'm sure there's people out there that spend thousands and thousands of dollars on their cars and their trucks to make it to their liking. But I see it more with motorcycles. I see more people like in the motorcycle community adding a ton of accessories, aftermarket or OEM, and it's not just Harley. I see that in other manufacturers too. And I want to get your guys' take. I mean, do you find yourself spending a lot more money that you should on accessories? Think about this. Last year in 2021, Harley, and I don't know if these are exact numbers, but they're pretty close. I'm a business guy, guys. I could talk numbers all day. But they did close to $750 million as a company for the year and parts and accessories. That's a lot. You know, that is a lot. And, and even that's like almost 13 14% more than they did in 2020. So people were buying, and that's just Harley stuff. That's not even to mention all the other aftermarket parts. I said before that half my bike is probably Harley aftermarket or Harley parts, and the others aftermarket. So think about this: they make their money on accessories. You know, there's a high margin on accessories. There always is. You know, they don't make a ton of money on bikes. I mean, they do, but just not. You know, like on certain types of bikes, usually the touring models are their highest margin. But their money comes from financing, their money comes from accessories, their money comes from Moto Clothes, which has an insane amount of margin of markup on it, but people keep buying it. You know, we keep pouring money into our bikes. So I want to get your take on this. Are you the type of person when you buy a bike, you're pretty much buying it bone stock, and you're going to keep it that way. You might add one or two things, but overall, you're going to keep it the way it came from the factory. Or are you that person that is constantly adding new things i know the friends that uh, my good friends that i ride with i know a lot of them keep adding more and more stuff and then we find out like when we ride with them they're like oh you gotta try this you gotta try this and sure enough then we ended up uh, falling into that trap and buying them. we're like oh i love this this is, i l- love this new accessory but then we just keep dropping coin on it and uh we need to slow down man because i think some of these parts are outrageously priced i mean especially harley ones but a lot of these are overpriced and because they make a lot of money on it and you know what the companies know this the companies know that they're you're going to buy a bike and you're going to spend a lot more money to upgrade it right so that's how they're making money and we're the people that are going to keep doing it and you know what i'm probably not going to change because i love my bike and i want to be able to say this is what i've done to it so let me know your thoughts on it love to hear from you now get out there and ride everybody be well, and I'll talk to you soon. Which way should I go, left or right? Uh, I'll go left. That's the way to go today. Take care, everybody.